In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to MongoDB from within Python 3 in a really straightforward way, really fast. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is try to import the PyMongo module, which, as you can see, is not installed yet. So let's exit the Python console. Let's install the PyMongo with, Py, with pip3. Let's say pip3 install PyMongo really fast, really straightforward, and here we are. It's, it's installed in my environment. So, if I now try to import PyMongo, you can see that there's no problem. So, let's create a client to my MongoDB. So, in order to do that, we're going to use uh, the class MongoClient that it's inside the PyMongo module. So if I call the empty constructor, what he's going to do is connect to the local host using my Mongo default port, which is 27017. Okay, so let's create a variable to refer to our database. So our database is going to be um, client.test, which is a a database that is included with MongoDB, but you know you can use any database, and if not, if it doesn't exist, MongoDB will create it for you. Okay, so let's create a collection. Let's say we want to create a collection for websites. So db.sites. Let's insert a new one. So let's say that the URL is http www.raydelta.org and let's say that the name of the site is raydelta's homepage okay so after i do that you can see that immediately the object ID is being printed. So the object has been created in MongoDB and MongoDB has created a unique object ID for me. So if I go to Mongo console, I can see that the record has been inserted. Let's do that. Let's open a new terminal tab. Let's go to our Mongo console. Let's use the test database and let's say that for these collection sites, I want to see everything that we have. And as you can see, it is actually there. All right, so let's read this data from within Python. So in order to do that, it's really f straightforward. So what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, to create a variable, let's call it site, and let's say that we want the first site that you find. So if I print that site, you can see that we have the only site that we have inserted in the database. If you want to print um, a certain field in special in particular, let's say that I want to just print the name of the site. This is the dictionary, which means that I can pick any key, let's say name, and he will print just the, the name of it. So I can print a, com a composite uh, text, a composite string like I like the bam, this is string and the URL is another string. So it's just going to put here a tuple where the first element is going to be the name of the, the site and the second one is going to be the URL of the site. Let's close the print parameter. You see, it's really easy, really straightforward. Um, let's say that I want a collection. I want uh, all the sites that are stored in the database. Uh, I could say that in this case, sites, it's going to be 
equal to db.sites.find. Now if I don't pass any criteria to find, it, it will just bring everything that he finds. But obviously I could, you know, I can restrain, I can make some filters by specifying here what I want. I just want old sites with the, an URL equals to whatever. No, you already know that. But if, if I put a, a blank, blank parameters, it will just store all the uh, documents that he find in that collection. So let's just iterate. Let's say for S in sites, let's just uh, print S name. And he printed out the name of the only document that he has in that collection. I hope this video could be helpful for you and if you have any question, any inquiry, please visit my website www.redalto.org. Thanks for watching.